Hey guys, um, welcome back to the show. Today, uh, we're back with a video, but it's not so much an opinion video. It's what you read on the thumbnail or what you read on the title. I wanted to explain what I really do uh, on a day-to-day. -day. Um, a lot of people watch YouTube videos about film and think people either have another job or they, I don't know, are students or, you know, they're doing something that, you know, helps them do their other side hustle, which is YouTube. And in film photography, it's actually pretty much the case, uh, probably nine out of 10 times somebody has a different job that has nothing to do with film photography. Uh, maybe they're working at a store, maybe they you know, have a normal job. But in my case, I make a living with film photography. And I wanna explain a little bit how I make a living with film photography without actually taking pictures. Because it's funny, uh, when you watch a lot of people Ben Horn, he makes large format uh, videos, shoots slides, eight by 10, stuff like that, amazing content. He basically makes a living right now shooting film, but I don't really take pictures. And you might've noticed that from this YouTube channel, it's mostly me on camera at, talking to you. And today I included this mic just to show uh, a bit of, you know, stuff that I buy that I don't use. Plus I have, you see, uh, I'm showing the wide angle of the studio. Didn't pick up anything, no special lighting, no moody lighting, nothing like that. Just so you guys can pet peeve around what is there, like 11 by 14 camera. We have uh, probably some cinematography camera and stands and stuff like that. So what do I do and why do I work for, why is my job film photography without taking pictures? So I basically have been breathing, talking, thinking film photography for the last two decades, pretty much. Um, and that has made me become a, a very big geek of all things film photography. But it's funny because people obsess about gear. Some people obsess about the art of photography. I kind of obsessed about the business of film photography. And that is the brands, the announcements, the products, the cameras, the film stocks, the process of taking pictures, the process of looking at pictures and uh, talking to people uh, you know, uh, business to business, business to consumer, workshops and everything. So after all those years, I had a different job, absolutely different job. And I started uh, doing film YouTube and, you know, sharing what I had had. I had been shooting film for probably a decade almost before starting my YouTube channel. And I just wanted to share with people. And that is basically what I want to do is I want to work for the film community. I want to work for everybody from the high end film community to the low end film community from the guy that runs Kodak Alaris or to the guy that is picking up a point and shoot at a, you know, thrift store. So that's what I do. Um, I currently now do have a full-time job uh, here at, in Finland with Camera Rescue. Those who follow Camera Rescue might have known that. If you don't know what Camera Rescue is, it basically is a project that started to try to help continue the knowledge of film repairs and film spares and the importance of cameras being tested and knowing like the value of the gear we own, the gear we want to buy and how to buy and so on. We're creating a lot of content that is still hasn't been published, but it will soon will and I'll be featuring in some of it. But yeah, Camera Rescue does that. But Camera Rescue is based in Finland, where also is Camera Store, which is not exactly Camera Rescue. It's a different entity. And I do also do uh, videos for them here in Finland. So you'll see Camera Store sometimes making videos where I appear or I've edited them and so on. So I basically uh, make content about film photography and the film industry on my, you know, let's say eight, uh, nine to five job. Then I am very lucky that I do my YouTube channel where you're watching this right now. This is basically what has allowed me to quit my day job and start working full-time film. So between Camera Rescue and my YouTube channel, I managed to be here. I brought my family to Finland uh, and I've been able to basically talk and geek out about film photography 24 seven every day. Today's actually a Sunday, even though you're watching this on a Monday and I came at 5.15 to the office to basically shoot this video. And this office here is literally uh, run by Camera Rescue, but I have an agreement where I give my gear for them to use I use it, but you know, for them. And they let me use this studio for my own content. Some of the stuff is mine, some of the stuff is theirs. All the gear behind is pretty much mine. I had this in a studio. So yeah, I basically work for you guys. I uh, talk about film, I talk about the industry. I'm extremely lucky to have uh, been backed by uh, brands for years. Uh, 
at the very start of my career, Camera Store started helping me out and that's basically how we started a relationship. We quit the agreement of them uh, sponsoring me when I agreed to work here because we thought it was a conflict of interest. And sometimes I do talk about them, but it's not in any way something that I have to talk to positively or anything like that. But I do love my job. So uh, Camera Rescue, Camera Store, basically I do enjoy. Uh, but now I work for Camera Rescue. I took over Yuho and so on. So I basically have had brands. Now I have the news. The news people, brands sponsor me because they want to see uh, their small projects be on the news because the news started as a part of me being like, nobody's talking about these things that are so cool and uh, it's going to end up dying in the new, uh, you know, whatever camera coming out, the Sony something or the Leica something. And nobody's talking about those little startups, 3D printed projects, um, community stuff and so on. So I did the news and that brought some sponsors, which really helped me keep making this every day. And then I have the Patreons. Patreons are guys that are watching me here right now that basically think that what I'm do is worth it and help me. And this is totally uninterested because I'm a disaster at Patreons and I've never been able to make content only for Patreons. I always feel like if it helps two people and one's a Patreon, of course I'll do the video, but I'd rather publish it and have more people watch it and learn. So it's more like a donation, uh, my Patreon, but I do have some perks like Discord uh, server and I talk to them on a daily basis uh, there at Discord and through different messengers. But I also talk to a lot of people in the community, like anywhere. So my, my ultimate theme or goal in what I do is to help everybody, help anybody that I can reach my hand or they reach out to me and help them. Um, and that's what I'm lucky. And it's funny because I've always, I've made interviews in Spanish and stuff where I say, I'm the photographer that makes a living without taking pictures. I work for the film community, but nobody's here to see my pictures most of the time. I do make videos about my photography, but I mostly shoot my family. So I feel like it might get uh, some, a little bit boring. And I go to the industry events. Uh, this I bought for some interviews that I was gonna do at Photokina. It actually has my little card here, which is pretty cool. Um, and basically that's what I get to do every day. Um, I get to shoot all I want. I get to shoot videos all I want. I get to buy pretty much every camera that I've been wanting ever. And I've uh, refined my collection of cameras throughout the last uh, year or so, which I will make a video, but I get to test new products that are coming out sometimes before you guys get to see them. I get to talk to brands behind the scenes and on the scenes. And that's why I wanted to make this video is to thank everybody. Um, this channel, if you look at the subscribers, you might be like, wait, this guy only has like 24,000 subscribers or something. But this channel with that size has reached so many people that I've never been bothered. I've never cared to celebrate one number or another. I celebrate the fact that people watch the videos, that people reach out to me and say, hey man, like I really helped me to buy a Mamiya RZ or you really helped me to how to load this camera and stuff, stuff like that. So that is why I continue to make those informational videos that I consider library. And it's not gonna target thousands and millions of people and I'm not taking the channel like, oh, this is my garden and it has to be like this perfect, you know, garden where every video is in our harmony with the next one. Like, I just wanna serve the community, help the uh, community, help people and continue doing so for years and call it my job, which is basically the ultimate goal I had. I never thought I could make a living with film photography and even less without actually having to do pictures for, you know, babies or weddings and so on. And total respect to people that do that, but I didn't want to do that myself. So I'm here sitting, talking to a camera, thanking everybody for watching these videos. Um, I basically uh, didn't expect 2022 to be where I am, um, but I'm very grateful. And that's why I wanted to explain. So let me know if you want to know anything in the comments below. I would love to talk more about what I do, about uh, what are my goals, uh, what are the things that I want to do in the future. But for now, this is what you have. Uh, this is not a really an opinion video, not a super film support, not the news. But if you enjoyed it, let me know. And let me know when you picked up on this channel. I would love to see. I know some people have been here for the pretty much every single year. And some people picked it up in the last two months. But you guys all are valued and I love listening and reading. So yeah, thanks everybody for letting me have a job uh, for the film community and continue helping. And I hope that, you know, the future I can do a lot more because I'm not quitting anytime soon. That's the main goal. I love this. And even if nobody was watching and I made no money, I still would be doing this 
because I really enjoy it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me a comment below. And like I said, if you feel like helping in any way for me to continue doing this, you can go ahead to Patreon and help there or donations, anything like that. But it's not needed. The content will still be here on YouTube, free for everybody to watch. Thankfully, YouTube puts ads for you guys so you can watch them and pay me too. So it's part of the help that I get from the community. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.